Imagine creating the brain behind your favorite app, the part that handles every click message and login real time. That's exactly what you will learn to do with Express.js. Welcome to Express.js tutorial, your complete guide to building powerful and scalable web applications from the ground up. Express.js is a popular Node.js framework that simplifies how we build the backend, the brain of any web page that connects users to databases, processes, information, and sends response in real time. Instead of writing complex, repetitive code, Express gives developers a clean, flexible, and efficient way to create web services and APIs effortlessly. Whether you're a total beginner or an aspiring full-stack developer, this tutorial will help you understand everything from basic setup to advanced development step by step. By the end, you will know exactly how to build, test and deploy your own Express.js application with confidence. So open your code editor, bring your curiosity and let's explore how Express.js powers the modern web one route at a time. Before we commence, if you want to become a job-ready full-stack Java developer and work with cutting-edge technologies trusted by top companies like Google, Microsoft, and Amazon, then Simply Learn's full-stack Java developer master program is designed just for you. In collaboration with Microsoft Azure, this seven months, you will master everything from front-end to back-end development, build dynamic user interface using React and Angular, develop powerful backend systems with Java, Spring Boot and Hibernate, manage databases with MySQL and MongoDB, learn DevOps, AWS and Azure Cloud development, and finally showcase your expertise with hands-on Capstone projects across domains like food delivery, healthcare, entertainment and travel. This is not just another online course. You will learn live and interactively with industry expert trainers, gain hands-on experience through 20 plus projects and receive 24 bar 7 mentor support to ensure the learning never stops. Every step is designed to make you industry ready from day one. By the end of this program, you will earn a master certificate from Simply Learn, a credential trusted by leading employers worldwide. So hurry up and enroll now. The course link is given in the description box and in the comment section below. So before we begin, here's a quick question for you to answer. Which part of a web application handles user requests, connects to the database and sends back responses? Is it front-end which includes HTML, CSS and JavaScript? Or is it back-end which is servers and database? Or is it the browser catchy? Let us know your answers in the comment section below. Also, if you are interested in similar kind of content, do hit the subscribe button and do not forget to like this video. Now, let's start with the installation part. For Express.js to work, you need to have Node.js in your system. For that, you need to visit Node.js official page. Here you will see an option of get Node.js. So you can just click on it. And here you will see for Windows, we have Windows installer, which is .msi folder. So click on it and download it for Windows. And you also can install it in your Mac. Follow the installation wizard, accepting the license agreement and install it. To confirm if it's installed or not, open the command prompt and check the versions of Node and NPM. For checking the versions, you just need to type Node version and it should give you a version number and then you have NPM version. Again, it should give you a number. So that's all you have to download and install. After installation, we should create a project directory. So create a folder named projects. Here I've already created it and I've named it my express app and copy the location of the folder so you can create other files required via command prompt. Now let's go to the command prompt and navigate to the folder by typing CD and the location name. This will navigate us to the folder that we have created. Now I need to have the basic packages installed in these folders. So let's start with npm. So to install that, we have npm init slash y. If you run this, there will be a folder named package.json created. Next, I need a folder which has all the node modules. So for that, we need to type in npm install express. 
This installs all the node modules and even package log JSON, which is a basic necessity of all the files, to your folder. Then to create the major folder, which is the index.js, we need to type nul, which is greater than index.js. If you run this, you will have the index.js, which is one of the major file which is created. Now, which folder will have the code in it? The index.js file will have the code in it. How can you enter the code in? So, you have the index.js folder. You can just open it via Notepad or Visual Studio and enter your code in here. Now, here in this folder, I've given it a very simple code of a web page which will say welcome to my express app with a little bit of coloring etc so we'll run this and see before that you need to say whatever you have given in index.js now it's time to run the website which is node index.js is the code you can run it either in vs code or even in command prompt so for now for execution first i'm going to navigate to the folder and then give node index dot js so here you can see there is server is running on http localhost 3000 so to click on it you just need to press on the control button and click on it it will open so as you can see i had given welcome to my express app this is a simple web page served using express.js so this confirms that express.js is running successfully now let's understand what routes are routes define the endpoints of your application response to these endpoints are urls that users or clients can access Express uses HTTP methods to handle different types of requests. The most common ones are get, post, put, delete. Get retrieves the data, post submits new data, put updates existing data and delete removes the data. You can create multiple routes in your application to handle different requests. For example, a get request on slash might load your home page while post might add on new content. Root parameters allows you to capture values within the URL. Express makes this value accessible to your code for future operation. Query strings are another way to pass information to the server. They appear after a question mark in the URL. These are often used for filtering or searching the data. Now let's see how to add multiple routes in one app page and see how it appears. Now similar to the previous folder here I've created a folder called my app and I've added app.js package.json package log.json which appears by default and I have public as a folder. Here I've added two more web pages together which is form html and index html so i'll run the two programming that i've done using html so the form is submit your information which enters your name it's very basic form so you can give your form and submit this is your form html page whereas in index you have welcome to express.js tutorial this is a static html page served for the public folder try these out and you have a couple of other pages now from here if you go to go to form page it does not show anything now here in app.js we have integrated both the html pages where you can navigate from one page to another now again it's a very small program in html that i have integrated both the html pages to one where we can run one code which is the app.js and we can get access to the two html pages now, similarly to this, one web page might have multiple HTML codes or HTML pages which are integrated with each other. So, for example, I have taken only two of them. So, let's run the app.js and see how one page to another HTML page transition is done. Similarly to the previous example, I am first navigating to the folder and then giving the run command. Now again a server is running, let's just click on it. While clicking on the link, please click on the control button and then click on it so it will have access to it. So here you can see the first it's about the home page which is welcome to express.js tutorial. From here can we go for 
form page yes you can we can go back to the page and you can add about page html also and integrate it with the app.js folder so you can have an easy access to this and that's how simple it is to integrate multiple html pages into one or multiple routes into one so that your web page is completed now let's talk about middleware one of the most important concept in express.js middleware acts like a bridge between a user's request and final response when a request enters your app it passes through multiple layers like checkpoints where each layer can be modified or validated the request before it reaches the destination route think of middleware like an assembly line in a factory each worker or even a middleware function perform a small task checking transforming or even adding something and then passes the request to the next one this process continues until the response is ready to send back there are inbuilt middlewares that handle common tasks like passing the data or serving files and there are also custom middleware that you can create to log activities check authentication or even handle the errors the order in which middleware appears in your code decides the order which they run so sequence matters and when an error occurs there's a special type of middleware that catches it and sends a proper error message instead of crashing the server overall middleware makes your app modular flexible and easy to maintain now that we have understood middleware let's see how it fits into the rest api one of the most common ways to build web services the rest stands for representational state transfer it's a set of rules for designing apis that communicates using standard http methods like get post put and delete these methods represents the four basic actions in data management which is create read update and delete also known as crude operations in a rest api each piece of data is treated as a resource for example users products or even orders and each resource has its own unique url or endpoint When a client sends a request to one of these endpoints the server processes it and sends back a structured response usually in json format you can test the rest apis using tools like postman or even your browser each response also includes a status code like 2000 for success 201 for creation and 404 when something isn't found So REST APIs are the backbone of modern web apps allowing front end and back end systems to talk to each other smoothly. Now the next step is to connect our API to the real database which will be MongoDB. Until now our data existed only in memory meaning it vanished whenever we restarted the app. A database solves this problem by storing the data permanently and MongoDB is a no SQL database that stores information in flexible json like format perfect for javascript applications. Each entry in MongoDB is called a document and documents are grouped inside collections similar to rows and tables in traditional databases. To connect our API to MongoDB we use library called Mongoose. It helps define schemes, blueprints that describes how our data should look and provides an easy way to interact with the database. Once connected the API can handle real data it can store new users retrieve lists update information and delete entities directly from the database this step will transform your project from a simple demo into a fully functional backend application ready for production and that brings us to the end of express js tutorial you have journeyed through everything from setting up your first server to handling routes understanding what middleware databases or application and even deployment you have learned how express js makes backend development faster cleaner and more efficient giving you full control to build anything from a simple api to a large scale enterprise applications the real power of express lies in its middleware based architecture it's what gives you freedom to shape your app exactly the way you want 
Combine that with the solid error handling, security practices and performance tuning and you've got everything you need to build apps that scale confidently. Remember, Express.js is minimal by design. That means you're in charge to choose the tools, libraries and structure that best fit your project. Keep exploring new middleware, stay connected with the developer community and always aim to write clean, maintainable code. With what you have learned today, you have not just running a local server, you are ready to build production grade web application that powers the modern internet. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more such content. Until next time, keep learning with Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to Simply Learn's YouTube channel and click here for similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, you can check the description box below.